What's going on, everyone? It's Nick with Us versus Herd. We're here to talk about the overall market performance and some of the meme stocks, specifically Bed Bath and Beyond and GameStop. And you know, kind of, kind of, you know, what what does this mean looking ahead? But let's get into kind of the overall market before we talk about the meme stocks. Now, S&P, which is interesting here, uh, pulled up today on the 200-day moving average. I mean, we've been we've been just been kind of grinding, grinding, grinding since since last month, right? So we're we're just pushing up. But today we actually touched the 200-day moving average, and then it was instantly, instantly rejected, rejected as you can see as you can see here today. Touched it, and literally, you know. The shorts piled in. This is a one-minute chart, which is a little bit crazy. The shorts just piled in and just clobbered it, clobbered it. NASDAQ, let's pull up NASDAQ real quick here. I don't talk about Dow because Dow, you know, that's, that's boomer stock. It's boomer holdings. It's like 30 stocks. Doesn't even make sense. So, you know, I like how, anyways, I, I, I like how CNBC came out today. They said Dow, Dow was up 200 points. Well, everything else was like, you know, kind of flat. But um, NASDAQ coming up anyways, I digress, right? Um, NASDAQ coming up here has a little bit of room to go to the 200 day. So, you know, we're we're about 300, 400 points down from the 200 day moving average. So it's going to be interesting to see if we can pop above these moving averages of the overall market, because if we can pop above these averages here it's going to possibly signal you know a huge reversal and you know obviously you want to be for a bull market you want to be above the 200 day moving average or above all the other moving averages right now such as 50 day 100 day and um now we're now we're trying to now we're trying to push to the 200 day moving average uh, let's talk about some of the meme mania that's going on here but if you could do me a big favor hit the like button and if you're learning how to trade options link is below for 50 percent off the uva or 50 dollars off not 50 percent off 50 dollars off the uvh academy if you're learning how to trade go there the link link and the coupon code first link in the description but let's go into bed bath and beyond here now you know this chart this chart's kind of mess uh, of a mess i mean to bed bath beyond hit four dollars and 38 cents a share popped up to 28.29 today settled in at 20.65 you know today was the day this thing was still closed up 29 29 percent but i mean right when the right right when the market was selling off this went from 28 down to 18 i mean this was this was a uh, ten dollars right down in here which is which is insane like within minutes this this thing just came on down which kind of shows you how fragile it is but i mean if we're looking at let's go past the let's go past the one year here let's go to the five year chart here now you know last time when the meme stocks went a little bit crazy i mean this came up to 53.90 you know, it's it's definitely not without question. Can this push fifty or sixty? Definitely think it can if it gets a little bit more if it gets a little bit more squeezy here. Um, you know, back in here, let's go back into you know before the squeeze, before this before the prior squeeze, not this current squeeze. You know, this thing came from penny stock land as well, and then pushed up from eighteen to fifty three. So very very similar of what it's doing right now. So if we zoom in here. You know what's going on right now you know we were we were at like 15 and then now it's starting to get a little bit squeezy obviously there's a little bit of resistance in here but if you look at the volume I mean, over 400 million shares were traded today and basically you know that many shares i mean have been non-existent i mean this is the volume right now is even way higher than the last squeeze back back in here i mean this this i mean there's almost no volume down in here compared to where it was, it was like 86 90 million and today hit over like 400 i mean that's insane so for me like honestly you know this this stock is is it's kind of interesting definitely can get a little bit more squeezy now i don't know in terms of management what they plan on doing are they going to be offering up more shares i definitely think they should use this opportunity to start restructuring pay off their debt kind of like amc gamestop i mean if it wasn't for you know the apes wall street bets whatever AMC and GameStop may not be here today. And Bed Bath & Beyond, honestly, is a failing retailer. But 
with this, they could use the opportunity to actually raise capital, pay down debt, eliminate things, and actually get their business on the right track, kind of like AMC and GameStop. They would provide a liquidity. You know, people are rushing in to buy. So use this if you're if you're watching this CEO of Bed Bath and Beyond, use this opportunity to actually turn the ship around. Then you know maybe maybe your stock can even go higher. I mean, who 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 knows right now? So right now, I mean, for Bed Bath and Beyond, what I'm looking at here in terms of the options. I mean, we're we're at 486% for this week. So, you know, if I want, maybe maybe go into selling some puts. So if you're short puts, if you don't know what that is, you're actually long the stock. So if you short some puts, you could be actually get a sign a sign of the stock. So maybe like kind of short the 17s, 18s. That would actually probably not be a bad idea right now. And then try to get into a later expiration. Right now, I mean the problem, the problem I see with this is like IV IV really really is jacked up right now, so you're not going to get the best deal. But you know, hey, when you're when you're trading in meme stocks, you're not normally get the best deal. I mean, total volume on calls today was 1.3 million versus 628,000 puts, which is you know that 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 is a lot of contracts, almost almost two million contracts traded in total today. Bed Bath and Beyond. So I mean, this is definitely one to watch. Um, GameStop. GameStop IV not as bad here, so it's 136 percent. GameStop did get halted today. Uh, calls versus puts, so calls came in at 320,000, puts at 89,000, so not nearly as many. But I mean, calls are heavily, heavily skewed today. Now, if we're going here, I mean, this. I mean, if you're looking at the five year, I mean, this could definitely be a bullish pennant here. If we're, if you know, if we're, you know, talking about it, but I definitely think. You know, in terms of GameStop, I mean, can it go back up to the highs here? I mean, if I guess anything can happen, right? Anything can happen. Like back in here, the difference is like uh, versus like Bed Bath and Beyond and GameStop. Like back in here, like some of the volume came down in here, like 750 million during the last week. So if you look here, 750 million, 600 million, 500 million in volume. And then today, you know, where was the volume today? The t today the volume was only like 25 million. So I really think. To be able to push these numbers, we're gonna need a lot more volume on GameStop. But you know, maybe you could be early. I mean, actually, risk to reward here is actually, I would say, I would say pretty good. I mean, not not a bad deal for uh, risk to reward. You know, if we're looking here, maybe looking to like, you know, October, November, and try to get something. You know, maybe get these 50s, 50s or 60s. Right now, they expect to move 18 dollars for uh, October. Try to see if we can get something going here. Um, obviously, this is not investment advice. Just kind of things that things that I'm kind of playing around with, things that I'm looking at in terms of you know, is this going to squeeze or not going to squeeze? You know, and you just gotta you just kind of have to be realistic. Now, like like we saw with Bed Bath and Beyond today, you know, they will take it down, kind of like the rest of the market. So what time is this? Is it like 1:30 here? So yeah, same same time. So exactly the same time that. The market started to give it up. They started to clobber Bed Bath and Beyond. So the algos are vicious. So just be just be mindful that just because you're trading a meme stock and the market decides to sell off pretty aggressively, you're still going to be exposed to that. So if for some reason the market says, "Hey, we're going to halt here. We're not going to get to the 200-day moving average. We're just we're just going to stop. We're just going to go back down." I think the meme stocks could be in trouble. So just be realistic. Take some profits, leave some runners, you know, buy some dips, and use proper risk management. If you watch this video to the end, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments below what you think. As always, stay safe, stay green. It's us for a certain.